It is no secret that Greeks helped to build this amazing country, bringing with them maybe not a lot in physical assets, but definitely an abundance in skills. One such skill was in fishing. At one of the southernmost points of Australia before Tasmania, Marianne Delaforce discovered a fishing family that was keeping the Greek island tradition alive well into its second generation. I'm with Nick Paul of Com Paul and Sons, the commercial fisherman here at Venus Bay on the Eyre Peninsula in South Australia. Hi Nick. So tell me, where did your family come from in Greece and when and why did they come out? Um, my, uh, my father comes from uh, the island of Limnos. Um, he arrived here in uh, 1951 as a 19 year old. And my mother comes from the island of Chios. And she arrived here in 1960 as a 20 year old. They both arrived by boat looking for a better life. My father, um, when he first came to Australia, was, was not involved in the fishing industry. He um, had various jobs from rabbit shooter to water maker. And then in the early 1960s, he started uh, in the fishing industry with his brother Harry in Thevenard. And uh, in the mid-60s, uh, my parents came to Port Kenny and uh, started their own business, this vessel, the Limnos, which is the island my father came from. 2001, we purchased a second vessel, the Basanki Bay. So what sort of seafood do you catch and what sort of techniques do you use? We target um, Western King prawns only. Uh, we're here in the, um, in the Southern Ocean. Um, it's a beautiful, clean environment, 50 metres deep, which is deep for a prawn fishery. The water temperature is very cold, so it's, um, it makes for a, a really good uh, prawn to taste. The texture is firm, it's a beautiful thing to eat. Um, the techniques, really, the, the prawn fishery started in, in 1968, and the techniques have evolved over that time to today. Now, I've seen the movie Perfect Storm with George Clooney. Have you had any hairy moments like that out to sea? Uh, these days it's all about um, crew and vessel safety, Marianne, so we, um, we try not to um, send the boats out when the forecast is for rough weather. Um, if the boys do get caught out at sea when the conditions turn a bit too rough, um, they head generally for the nearest safe anchorage. So now, you, obviously you're going to have some great recipes. Have you got anything you can share with our viewers to tell them about a great way to cook your prawns or anything like that? These prawns taste beautifully as they are uh, processed at sea. They're cooked on the vessels in salt water, cleaned in salt water. So um, these particular prawns do not need flavours added to them because they taste so so nice. Do you still uh, identify with being Greek even though you're actually born here in Australia? And if so, how? Yeah, look, um, my parents um, still communicate in Greek and uh, English. Um, Mum's a great cook and she's always cooking um, Greek meals, which I love to eat. So um, we, uh, we uh, still um, talk a lot of Greek when I'm visiting Mum and Dad. So the next time you're out seafood shopping, make sure you look for some beautiful seafood caught by Nick and the crew of Com Paul and Sons. I'm Marianne Delaforce for Meraki TV.